Ghana's $2.6 billion Accra Sky Train Project. In 2018, the government of Ghana unveiled plans for a sky rail system. The concession agreement called for the development of a $2.6 billion light railway system in Accra, Ghana, with the funds provided by the World Bank. The sky train was expected to improve Accra's public transport system through an elevated light railway system which would provide low cost transport to its citizens. Unfortunately, that will not be happening anytime soon. But before we go deeply, if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our videos. The Agreement On the opening day of the Africa Investment Forum in Johannesburg in 2019, Ghana signed an agreement with a South African company for a train project that would be built above the ground. It's a great day for Ghana, said Ghanaian President Nana Kufo Ado during the signing. I was here last year and I'm back this year to make sure the project moves forward. This proves how important the African Investment Forum is. The signing of this agreement is on track to improve the lives of our citizens, he added. He was joined at the ceremony by the African Development Bank President Akengunwi Adesina, who said SkyTrain would modernize Ghana, providing green transport for its citizens. Under the terms of the agreement, the South African concessionaire would build, own and operate SkyTrain for an undisclosed number of years at a cost of $2.6 billion. Before moving ahead with the Memorandum of Understanding for 2019, the company had conducted feasibility studies in 2018. The money for the project would have come from South African investors. Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund was the fiduciary gatekeeper. The agreement did not guarantee that the project would proceed. Joe Garty, then Minister for Rail Infrastructure, stated that details of financing and mobilization were still not financed. 2020 was the final closing. The Accra SkyTrain project was envisaged to have a total track length of 194 kilometers across all routes and was projected to provide transportation to around 380,000 people each day and create some 5,000 jobs during its implementation phase. The project also involved the development of five routes, including four comprised of radial routes that originate at the proposed SkyTrain terminal at the newly developed Kwame Nkrumah Circle and one route that provides an intra-city commuter loop distribution service. This is what Africa wants, finalized agreements, said Akikumi Adesina, president of the African Development Bank Group. What we want is for Africa to invest in Africa. We want to see this kind of thing happening all the time. This project will modernize Ghana, providing green transport for its citizens. The agreement was signed at a press conference during the 2019 African Investment Forum. The Africa Investment Forum is an innovative, multi-stakeholder transactional marketplace conceived by the African Development Bank aimed at raising capital, advancing projects to the bankable stage, and accelerating financial closure of deals. The forum runs from 11 to 13th of November in Johannesburg, South Africa. The downfall of the project There was already skepticism on if the government would be able to complete the project and that was realized when the Ghana Ministry of Railways officially shelved the SkyTrain project. Speaking on an episode of Face to Face on CTTV, monitored by Ghana Web, the current Minister for Railway Development told Umaru Sanda Amadu that the government would not go ahead with the SkyTrain project. According to him, government would not be able to fund the project owing to its intensity in terms of capital investment. The sky train that we are talking about is the one that is going to run on columns in the sky like the one you see in Dubai, but no agreement has been signed. It is not possible to be done now, and I don't see any sky train being done in the next three to four years. There is not going to be any sky train in the country. It is not possible, he stated. The minister noted that the funding for the construction of some already commenced projects is becoming a problem for government, hence the need for the state to forgo the SkyTrain project. According to the minister, rail construction takes a lot of time and it is also capital intensive. A kilometer of railway line is about four to five times the cost of building a concrete infrastructure in terms of building an asphaltic road. So considering the fiscal space that the country has and the facilities to absorb it is becoming problematic for the government and also given the fact that the government had a current debt to GDP which is in excess of 70% at that time, the project was no way to be successful. At the time the agreement was signed, it was said that the project would be completed in nine months' time, which would have been August 2020. On why the government opted for an elevated air-propelled monorail system instead of grounded rail tracks, Joe Gatti argued that placing the project on the ground would have meant that government would have to pay a lot of compensation to individuals in order to get the train to where people and traffic are. The beauty of trains is that it must go where passengers are, it must go where traffic is and also on the ground 
you may have to pay too much compensation. You may not even be able to go to certain places because people will not just allow you to take over their property. So one of the options was for them to elevate the train and put it on the pillars, he stated. The SkyTrain downfall comes at a time when Ghanaians are smarting from a 1.75% levy on online transactions, a second successive month of inflation exceeding central bank targets, and commercial drivers threatening to shut down road travel due to rising fuel prices. Despite the fact that Ghanaians are expressing concern about fuel costs and the e-levy, most of them still shrugged off SkyTrain news. Thanks for watching and this concludes our coverage of Ghana's $2.6 billion Accra SkyTrain project. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and also share it with your friends.